the holidays are here. And as much as we love a gathering and having get-togethers with families and friends, not everybody that we invite to our house is going to come with the right intentions. Sometimes you don't even know that person. So today I'm going to show you 10 signs for you to watch out whenever some of your guests leave evil energy lingering behind after a gathering in your house. And I'm also going to teach you how to fix that little problem. If this is something that interests you, stick around because it's coming up right now. Hi witches, Blessed B. This is Why Raven over here. Today's Monday. So happy Magic Monday to all of you guys. Welcome to another Magic Monday. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the Coven. Again, my name is Why Raven and I'm here to teach you witchcraft. As I learn, I'm going to share with you because I want to be for you what I wish I had when I started. I know when you start witchcraft, it's a little bit confusing and complicated and sometimes even scary. Well, let me be like your big sister, your big cousin, your auntie, teaching you witchcraft. And if this is something that you want to practice, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave comments down below, like and share, which is for all of you guys that have been with me for the past, what, 11, 12 years? I am so close to 100,000 subscribers. So please, please, that's my biggest dream, which is, it is my biggest dream, believe it or not, to have 100,000 subscribers in my channel. So if you're new, please subscribe. And if you already subscribed, please share and tell your friends about why Raven and Witches Later, which takes me, I love you guys have been here from Reddit. I am so excited about that. If you are one of those people, I welcome you. I am so excited. I am not in Reddit. So I don't even know how to use Reddit. So don't judge me, okay? I'm old. But I'm really super excited for all the people that have find their ways, your way to me because because of Reddit. I am so excited. So I will welcome you all. Which is, I know that some of you guys have a lot of questions. Let me answer this one right off the bat, right from the get-go. I do not work for people. I do not work for people. So if you have any questions wanting me to work for you, I, I don't do that. However, I am here to empower you so you can do your own magic. So you don't need anything from anybody. Sometimes we do need professional help. Even witches need other witches to help us out with some situations. But most of the time we can take care of our own situations ourselves. So I'm here to do that for you, to empower you, but I do not work for people. If you need to email me, like you actually need to email me because you have a questions regarding magic, you can go into my website, whyravenandwitcheslayer.com. I have a beautiful website with a lot of products and things that you can use for your magic. Whatever I discuss here and I share spells with you, is going to be in my website. A lot of that stuff. Otherwise, you can just drop a question in the comments on the videos, especially if it's a general question, so everybody can benefit from my answer. So maybe not only you have the question, other people have the question as well. Just drop that question in the comments on these videos. Last, which is even a little heart will help me out in the comments. So I really appreciate the way you show me appreciation. Some of these videos take a long time to do research for, and I love my Magic Mondays and I love you guys so much. So I would love to have a hundred doesn't subscribe so please make sure to subscribe and put a heart in the comments that's it wow witches holidays are here and so many of you guys have written to me with the same concern how to keep peace in your gatherings in your dinner table and these holidays there is so much turmoil right now in the united states and we try to keep the peace so i know it's hard sometimes but especially if you're going to invite people into your house what i'm going to do i'm going to share with you throughout this week Maybe some little charms and things that you can put around in your house whenever you have like a dinner gathering in the next couple of months in the holidays for you to keep peace at home. Okay, but today what I'm going to share with you are 10 signs that you need to watch out for just to recognize that somebody have left trickling behind some dark evil energy in your house. Okay, so who is this spell good for? If you're hosting a holiday dinner gathering, this spell is for you witches because this is going to ensure that you know how to 
energetically clean your house and just keep it safe, right? After having a gathering. If you are an empath and you're highly sensitive and you're going to have people coming into your house, this spell is for you, witches, because I'm going to show you just very simple ways for you to protect yourself. If you are experiencing any type of bad luck after a gathering, this spell is for you because this way you're going to know how to recognize the signs and how to cleanse yourself and keep yourself, you know, protected just in case you go to a gathering later on or you have another gathering in your house. Now you know how to protect yourself and clean after your gathering is done. If you have young children in your house and pets, pets and children are very sensitive to evil and to negativity from other people. So listen up because I'm going to show you how to cleanse your home and how to recognize these signs of evil in your house. And last, sometimes we have visitors that we never invited to our house. Sometimes some people bring people into your house that you never ask for. Let me know if you have had people bringing into your house other people that you never invited. And sometimes these people are very unwelcome and very uncalled for. Like they're just nasty people that you do not want in your house. So let me know if you have had that experience, but this spell is for you. So what are some examples of potential evil doers? that may come to our house. They're going to be our guests in our home. Well, number one, surprise, surprise, something that most of us know, some envious family members and even friends. They're act very supportive when they're in front of you, but behind you, they really envy you and they want everything that you have. They resent, right, your happiness and your success. You have to watch out for that people because that is very common, which is there's many of those. So watch out for that people. Another example, the chronic complainer. You get somebody in your house and the only thing that that person does from the second they touch your floor is complain, 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 and complain. They have like a dark cloud walking with them and they bring that into your house, which is, and that lingers. That is like stickiness. Wherever they touch, they just, it gets sticky. It's just so awful when you have somebody like that. I mean, you feel this energy when they come into your house. Well, that's somebody that you need to watch out for because they could potentially, and sometimes they do it without wanting so there's people you have to watch out for the drama the drama king or the drama queen the one that wants to stir up shit arguments and they just disturb the peace there's always somebody out there that wants to be the center of attention and sometimes the center of attention is somebody funny and somebody that is actually the soul of the party right and that's good that's great it's always my brother is awesome like that one of my sisters is really awesome like that but sometimes you get the one that is going to want the attention of the whole party. It's not going to be for the right reasons. Watch out for that. Again, which is the uninvited guest. This is somebody that you do not want in your house. And somehow they came with somebody that you invited. How freaking rude that is. They show up unannounced. They impose themselves in your party, in your gathering. And when they leave, they leave you with such a bad taste. They just ruin your entire party. This spell is for you and you need to watch out for people like that. Let me tell you something, which is when you have people like that in your house, I don't know, I'm too old already to put up with people's BS. I would just tell them to leave. Just get out of my house. It is entirely up to you, the people that you're going to allow in your house. Just because I'm a witch and I believe so much because I can recognize it and I have experienced bad energy from other people. At this point, I don't have the patience or I'm not going to be politically correct and keep you in my house if I don't like your energy because <laughs> that's going to be a lot of work for me afterwards to start cleaning. So it's up to you, which is, but watch out for the uninvited guest. Last, which is the very way too curious visitor they snoop through things they want to look at the things that you have and they do it so discreetly so secretive and people like that which is are going to leave behind disrupted energy and very intrusive vibes that you don't want in your house so which is watch out for these people and I mean, the list can go on and on and on and on, but these are some examples of people that you may want to watch out for whenever you have a gathering in your home. So let's discuss now 10 signs left behind any of this not so nice guest in your gatherings. Which number one and the most important thing that you need to follow is your gut. If you have a gut feeling, if your intuition is telling you that after your gathering, something is off, trust your gut feeling and address it right away. And that is my number one telltale sign. Number two, missing items. And when I say missing items, listen, sometimes people that go into your house will rob you. I have 
experienced this in my own blood. I had a friend that I really love and she came and visited me into my house and after she visited me a couple of days after I realized that one of my most precious rings, you know I love rings, was gone. Never knew what happened with my ring and guess what which is months after I went to visit her in her house and I needed to use the bathroom and the guest bathroom was occupied and she told me to go to her bathroom upstairs and guess what I found in the cabinet in the bathroom which is you guessed it my ring it was there I left it there I didn't take it back bad energy but I'm sure she knew that I saw it and I hope that serves her as a punishment for the rest of her life wherever I stop and whoever knows this person I tell this tale so everybody knows she's a thief but in any case when things are disappearing in your house not necessarily because they've been stolen but for example after you're gathering you can't find your keys you can't find your phone you feel confused it's like oh my god where did I put my keys where are my keys you know for example where is my phone where are my glasses where is my purse things like that that is a sign for you to recognize that perhaps after you're gathering somebody left some evil dark nasty energy behind number three minor house issues your toilet gets clogged your sink drain starts to slow down pipes start leaking for no reason things of that nature hey that could indicate nasty energy lingering behind after you have your gathering because energy blockages can manifest as physical blockages in your home so watch out for that number four appliances breaking like for example your fridge stops cooling your toaster shorts out or your coffee maker breaks down oh my god that is that will be a catastrophe in this house coffee is life it is very common for negative energy to mess up with electronics and with kitchen appliances specifically so watch out for that number five your pets are acting weird again which is if you have cats if you have dogs if you have birds watch out because pets are going to tell you quickly pets are so sensitive to energies so watch out for it, the way your pets behave because they'll tell you more than what you can imagine number six if you feel fatigue and drain after especially right after you're gathering when people leave and I'm not talking about drain and fatigue because all the stuff that you're doing you're washing dishes just cooking organizing blah 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 no 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 it's going to you're going to feel a different type of drainage perhaps you have help perhaps everything is done and you still feel extremely drained it's going to be a very heavy mental fog and drain when you are exposed especially if it's one of those people that are always complaining with the dark clouds you're going to feel that in your skin you're going to feel it in your head you're going to feel it in your chest watch out for that uh, drainage of energy because it's a sign that perhaps somebody have left something behind number seven things are falling you get frames that are falling and breaking you have a glass in your hands that fall out of your hands like why and just break if you have pictures that are falling from mantles things like that you have to watch out for that whenever things break things absorb energy especially anything that is made out of glass or out of ceramic they absorb dark energy and when they start breaking that's a big sign that something is lingering so pay attention to that number nine something really important as well if your plants start to die and they get really sad and you don't know what's wrong with your plants your plants was fine and you just don't know something that i learned a long time ago by a chrome witch whenever you have gatherings at home aloe vera is very good aloe vera would absorb dark energy if you're going to have a get together at home i suggest for you to get some aloe vera plants and put them around because they will absorb dark energy as a matter of fact this chrome witch is a very popular tarot reader uh, back in puerto rico and she had aloe veras in her office where she does the readings because you know when you do reading for people there's a lot of different energies coming with these people and things coming with these people so one of the ways for her to protect herself was with aloe vera plants so that's an idea for you just in case and number 10 something that uh, that's a problem if you start having arguments and tension between you and your significant other or the family the whole entire dynamic of the family start changing and there's a lot of arguments and fights and things like that definitely which is somebody left some something behind and i usually relate that to envious family members and people that covet what you have 
envious people coming into your house. I relate these fights and disharmony, disruption in the energy of your home, right? In your harmony. I blame all that to envious family members and envious friends, especially the ones that you don't know that are envious towards you. So how do we clean all this? Because which is you have what it takes to do this. Don't freak out. Calm down. You can fix it. That's what I'm here for. I'm going to give you the solution. It's going to be quick. It's going to be simple. And I'm very excited to share this with you. So let's get into the counteracting, the reversal of all this energy. We're going to sweep, 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 sweep the bed out. You know what? We're witches and this is why we have brooms. I love brooms. You have no idea. Brooms are such a great tool. So the first thing that you're going to do, which is, and of course, some of you guys may have carpets in your house. Some of you guys may just have tile in your house. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to go in all the rooms in our house and we are going to sprinkle sea salt and if you have holy water also sprinkle some in your environment and in any case we're going to pour sea salt in our floor and we are going to vacuum it and we're going to start from the back all the way to the front but if you have tile in your floor you are going to use your broom and you are going to sweep all the way from the back to the front if you have carpet or if you have tile and you are able to do this, I suggest for you to buy a coconut in the supermarket, the brown little coconuts that they sell in the supermarket. You're going to throw that in the floor and you're going to roll it throughout your room just like a bowl and that coconut is going to absorb all the negative energy. You're going to say, fuera lo malo, que la paz reine aquí. Away with the evil, make peace reign in this house. And that's why you're going to repeat while you are sweeping and cleaning your floors and you're going to visualize that coconut absorbing the negativity if you don't have the coconut then you're going to visualize the salt absorbing and canceling out neutralizing all that energy which is another way for you to cleanse your home is with smoke this is something that we have sharing here many times if you're a seasoned witch you use the herb that you prefer honestly if you have a rosemary bundle go around your house and smudge your house go clockwise around your house and you can chant some chant like for example by fire and smoke I cleanse this space no bad energy will take its place and you are going to go again clockwise in your house with either a rosemary bundle I really like rosemary bundles to clean you know I like palo santo I like camphor we have talked about that many times before but another thing that you can use that is excellent which is, is cedar you can find cedar bundles i also have cedar in my website and you can burn cedar in a charcoal burner and you can go around your house clockwise just cleansing and fumigating with the smoke your home we're going to create a lemon and cloves little bowl with water so you're going to slice a lemon you're going to put some cloves on the lemon and you are going to place this lemon in a plate with a little bit of water and you're going to leave it in problematic areas or in discreet areas wherever you want to leave this bowl now you're going to leave this bowl for about three days and after three days you're going to throw that away and give it back to mother nature another thing that you can do you can cut an onion in half and you're going to put your onion you can put them in your window sills or you can put it in problematic areas i usually cut one in half put it in a little dish and just put it in my window sills until i see that it start turning like brown or it's getting drier and all and then i just discard of that onion onions are going to absorb energy onions also have a lot of sulfur so they will repel any evil energy another thing that you can do is just get a little small mirror that you can stand and put it in a table that is close to the front door so you're going to put that mirror looking at the front door pour some black salt around your mirror and that is going to act as a reflective tool sending back to its source all the evil energy that has been left behind Last idea that I can give you, which is, and I'm trying to be very simple with these ideas that I'm giving you because I don't want you to have any troubles with this situation. I want you to be prepared. So go to the supermarket, go to my website, go wherever it is that you need to go and get some of these things just in case because you want to prevent before this happened. Okay. Es mejor prevenir que lamentar. That's what we say in Puerto Rico. 
So in any case, Florida water. You're gonna carry a candle in one hand and your bottle with Florida water in the other hand. This is what you're going to do. And please be careful mixing Florida water with fire because Florida water is flammable, so keep them separated. All right. You're gonna have the white candle in one hand and you're gonna have your Florida water in the other hand. And you're gonna sprinkle the Florida water in your rooms while chanting this chant. Con esta luz y esta agua, protejo mi hogar de todo mal. With this light and this water, I protect my house from all evil. And those are a few rituals that you can do to cleanse your home after any gatherings. If you feel that someone has left something behind that is unwelcome and you want to get rid of it immediately. Which is your home is your sanctuary. Nobody enters your home or lingers in your home unless you allow it. If you notice any of these signs, do not panic, witches. You have the tools in this video to cleanse and protect your home from all this nastiness and dirt left behind by unwanted and evil guests. If you have had any experiences in any gathering that you have had in your house, please make sure to leave them in the comments. Share with me. I would love to know and let me know what you did to clean this bad energy away. I love when you share this type of things with me. And sometimes I even take notes and I write them down. What you tell me, I write it down. So please, if you know of anything else that you want to add on, make sure to drop a comment down in the video. Which is make sure to be attentive to the channel this week because I will be sharing with you some discreet arrangements that you can create to keep the peace while you have people in your house. And that's it, which is I really hope that this spell reaches you at the right time. I hope you enjoy Enjoy it and I hope that empowers you and takes that stress away from you and that anxiety away from you. I'm very happy to share all these things with you. If you have any questions, please drop a comment in the video so everybody can benefit from the answer. If you want something more private, you can go into my website whiteravenandwitcheslayer.com and you can email me there your question. Also remember that I am in Facebook on White Raven and Witches Lair and you can message me there as well if you have any particular questions. Other than that, which is remember to stay smart. Knowledge is power. You must dig, you must study, you must research. But with all that knowledge and all that wisdom that you gather, make sure that you need to discern and you have to stay so very Mwah. wicked. See you Monday. Bye.